Hey guys, I'm back and I'm using some new products today by Crown Curlies. I'm gonna use their whole line for this style, starting off with their peach sorbet shampoo. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and follow with a deep condition using their pomegranate parfait deep conditioner. Their products smell just as good as the name suggests. The deep conditioner, you definitely have to get your hands on. Let the deep conditioner sit in for about five to 10 minutes. I'm also using my hot head to generate a little bit more heat. Once I'm done, I'll rinse it out and we can go ahead and use the lemon cookie leave-in to moisturize our hair. When we're done moisturizing our hair, we're gonna go ahead and seal that in with the Crown Curly's Pepperminty Oil. We're finished with the wash process. I'm just gonna brush these products through and then we'll begin styling our hair. Okay, let's go ahead and pin this out of the way. I already went ahead and did a wash and go on the perimeter of my head. Now for the top, I'm using the Whipped Almond Daily Moisturizer to set my flexi rod. The method I'm using for this set will give me spiral curls, so I'm gonna make sure not to overlap any hair, but that every layer of hair is laying flat against the flexi rod. We wanna make sure of this also because if you overlap hair, it takes much longer to dry. So try to lay the hair as flat as you can. Also make sure that it is as smoothly wrapped as possible because if you have any frizzes or bumps, you're probably gonna have a rod set that's a little frizzy. As we're finishing up this last rod here, I want to mention that you also want to try to get as small sections as you can because the smaller sections dry more quickly. The number one reason why this style messes up is because the hair doesn't dry completely. Once your hair is dry, you wanna put a little oil on your hands for takedown to limit frizz. When I unravel, I'm kind of twisting towards the direction that the curl goes to encourage it and not to mess it up. If you go against it, you will probably mess up the coil. Once all the rods are out, we're gonna go ahead and separate and twirl, separate and twirl. The twirling just helps further encourage the coil. You don't have to do this, but if you do have a frizzy strand, it does help. Okay, looks like we're finishing up here, but keep watching, I'm not done yet. I wanna go ahead and fluff and pick my hair to get rid of this separation. Best way to do this is to pull at our smaller natural coils and fluff them to make them stand out a little more. Eventually the distinction will disappear and the transition from the tighter to looser curls will be more gradual and natural looking. Once you're done with everything, the curls will kind of fall how they want. Looks like I got a side thing going on here, so that's what I'm gonna rock with today. I hope you enjoyed this look, this tutorial. Hope you got some good tips. I really enjoyed this wash day with the Crown Curlies products and my rod set came out perfectly. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I will definitely have more styles and tips coming.